Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard a starship in Normal Prize for another episode of Master of Orion. Okay, we got one more turn until we get Galactic Economics Research, which just will allow us to get Advanced City Building, um, which will allow us to have more population on all of our planets, which is going to be fantastic. And then with that additional population growth, we can use it to increase our research speed even further and increase the amount of uh, um, income that we have uh, throughout our entire empire. <laughs> Anyways... Um, we're also slowly getting towards um, getting uh, Doom Stars. That's the next thing I really want to get. I want to get Tectonic Engineering, and then we'll get Hyperdimensional Fission, Superscalar Construction, Interface Fission, and then Planetoid Construction. And once we get Tectonic Engineering, um, we may have to talk to some of the other um, factions to see if they can give us the other part of the... Uh, um, of uh, what we unlock on that because on tectonic engineering we can get core waste dump which allows us to drastically increase the amount of um, pollution cleanup on planets as well as deep core mine but we can only get one or the other we can't get both so we're gonna have to talk to some of the, uh, the factions to see if we can get the other part of that research anyways let's get into the game so as you can see we got our checklist over here on the right side let's start going through it so Higara 2 has grown. Awesome. Higara 2 is now a size 15. So we'll probably start moving a little bit of this over. It's slowing down until we get a... Actually, we don't really need to do that. Because once this research gets done, we'll have a higher uh, population capacity. Lost Soul Prime has grown. Fantastic. This one's up to a 9 population. Which is great. Destroyer has been completed at Sajuk, which is now currently constructing another battleship. Which is awesome. Once we get the Doomstar completed, we'll start building more Titans to uh, kind of balance out the fleet a little bit. But this battleship's going to take quite some time. Hmm. Battle station completed at Great Wasteland Prime, which is now building a global DNA scanner. Awesome. Uh, global DNA scanner completed at Sarm Prime, which is now building a battle station, doing the opposite of what uh, the Oracle was doing. <laughs> Dude, now you still are pretty low on credits, but um, I think you have a lot of stuff produ produced on you. A pollution processor completed at Great Wasteland 3, which is now building a research laboratory, which should take like literally one turn. <laughs> And then once we get that, your global DNA scanner, your starbase build, uh, we might as well start terraforming. Yeah. Get you up to a tier 3 planet. Hydroponic farm completed at Tannis 3, which is now building a neutron collider, which is awesome. Get production up a little bit faster, a little bit um, higher. A terraforming complete at Tenheiser Gate Prime. Nice. This is now a Tundra Planet. Fantastic. What else do we want you to make? Uh, we could start getting the usuals done. A little DNA scanner. Get a starbase going. And then maybe a research laboratory. Yeah. Do stuff like that. And boop, let's move our entire fleet. You, Mr. Destroyer, I need you up here. Awesome. And let's end our turn. Alrighty. So now Great Wasteland Prime has now grown. Awesome. You're 10 out of 11. Focus a little bit more on research, I think. Uh, Great, Great Wasteland 3 has grown as well. Cool. Uh, research laboratory completed. A global DNA scanner. 
is now being com uh, constructed in a waste great wasteland three as well well cool, on terraforming completed on angel moon prime so angel moon is now a terran blast planet which is great i'll help it grow a little bit faster um and then i guess start upgrading to a battle station yeah we might do that and then galactic economics research is completed Marshall. now we can get a planetary stock exchange which will increase the amount of um um amount of uh money we produce per population but this is also required for if we're going to do the stock exchange of victory condition which we're not we're going to be doing um uh conquest victory condition so we're going to do advanced city planning the philosophers hey. have gleaned a new insight With advanced planning techniques city planners can avoid many of the pitfalls of colony organization and overbuilding it increases maximum planet capacity Okay, without with that out of the way, let's get tectonic engineering. Onwards. And now, if we go to like Higara, we have 21 population possible on Higara. What is uh Sujuk 2? 21 as well. Hmm. It's the where's the big one? It's like a very really big planet we have. Um Oh, we have 17 down here. You're still not a huge planet. Do we have a huge planet? Should have a huge planet around here somewhere. There you go. Tenheiser Gate 2. Maximum population of 24 now. Ooh, baby. We have a lot of planets that are going to be growing very rapidly. Cool. More population. More money income. Okay. And now let's go ahead and end our turn. We should have a bunch of population I growing up. A proposition for you. Open borders treaty, huh? Um, no. This slight will not go unnoticed, outsider. You keep your defenses up, boy. Holy crap! Okay. <laughs> oh my god, we have lots of notifications. This is the first time I've seen a scroll bar. Um open up for the notification interesting all right well let's start from the top um space factory has finished its uh super scalar gas harvester all right so go to this one and start constructing another one uh doop doop Next, uh, Gaia Transformation completed at Great Wasteland 2. Um, please send me to it. I want to see it. I want to see it! So one of our first planets down here are now a Gaia planet. Awesome. Let's go ahead and you know, start getting more food going. Um, you probably can build an Astro University, since you're going to be a very large planet. And... Yeah, I think that's about it. That's like the only thing I really want you to make. Everything else you really don't need. Might need a Recyclotron in the future. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely going to need a Recyclotron. Okay. So that's done. A biosphere completed at um, at Onyx 2, which is now building, or Audox 2, which is now building a, a a hydroponic farm. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I can put this up here to help it grow a little bit faster. You have 22 is your maximum population. 24 is the, the actual planetary limit. Hmm. Without the... Uh, Buff. So this one can actually have 29 planets or 29 population. Wow. A lot of freaking people. Anyways, 
fungal farms completed at uh, Tannis Prime. Who's now building the hydroponic farm. I should have did that the opposite way, but I didn't. Next, I want you to build me a uh, soil enrichment facility, neutron collider, uh, government enrichment facility, and a marine barracks. Get the morale stuff out of the way. Yeah. Then, let's see, if I bring you down here, this does put you up to seven. Yeah, we'll keep this down here and then we'll start growing population. Once it gets more. Uh, moon Laboratory completed at Lost Souls Prime. Hey! Ugh. Crap! Stop moving everything around! Alright, we're gonna have to start from the bottom. There's just too many uh, um, notifications going on. It's not actually working right. Anyways, Karak Prime has grown. Now we have Karak has a po maximum population of 17, which is great. You need something to help your um, your pollution. So I think for now, I'm going to move this one here to help it grow a little faster. Cool. Uh, global DNA scanner has completed at Sajuk 3, which is now working on terraforming. We can start doing that to help it grow a little bit faster. And how is Sajuk 2 doing? Not doing too bad. They're all growing at a decent speed. Um, that's not... Focus too much on bringing research down. Yeah, it'll be fine. Take a while for it to grow. All right, and planetary bombardment. Um, frigate has been completed at Gozen 4. Sweet. We're now building just a destroyer, which is nice. Get you growing quickly because you have a lot of room to grow. All right, and Lost Souls has grown. I think pretty much every single planet has grown from that research, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Sojuk Three has grown. Nice, nice. They're currently being terraformed. Uh, Tenheiser Gate Prime has grown. Oh. Apparently, you never built your holodeck simulator. Let's get that going first. Uh, Glide 3 has grown. Yeah, I think like every single one of our plants has grown from this research. <laughs> kind of crazy. Um, AZ23679 has grown. Cool. They're still growing at a decent pace, too. Uh, Great Wasteland 5 has grown. Nice. Uh, Angel Moon 2 has grown. Cool. Um, Sarm Prime has grown. Cool, cool. Uh, Oracle Prime has grown. Which is actually about to grow again. <laughs> I have so much food on this planet. Uh, goes in four has grown. Nice. Um, Gly Prime has grown. Okay. Let's bring a couple of these down. Is there anything I can do for you? Not really. What's your production level? 17? Yeah, you're not really worth having a space elevator. Okay. And then Tenheiser Gate 2 has grown. Nice. Keep this one growing at a pretty rapidly rapid pace. Size 20 out of 24. Wow. So freaking crazy. You're slowly being tra transformed into a Gaia world. 
Okay. Let's get this guy up here. Um, you need you to move down here. Another frigate up here that's ready to go. Move him up here. And now we're ready to go to the next turn. And honestly, we could start making our push up here. Yeah, wipe this out, wipe out the planet. And then just like make a defense for us right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and move in. Also, whenever we save up enough money, we'll need to upgrade our fleet. Okay. Now we have the Oracle Prime, who has grown. If you focus on building more food, there you go. If you focus more on getting research done. Cool. A global DNA scanner completed um, at Great Wasteland 3, now building a starbase. Cool, 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 cool. Once you get your starbase built, go ahead and start terraforming yourself. Cool. A neutron collider completed at Great Wasteland 5, now building global DNA scanner. Awesome. Uh, you are producing a lot of pollution. So we're going to need to start bringing you up here into research territory. There we go. And global DNA scanner completed Tenheiser Gate Prime, which is now building the holodeck simulator. Nice. Getting our security levels up. The Marine Barracks completed Age of Moon 3, which are now building their gravity generators, finally. <laughs> Been a very long time. It's finally starting to get that built. Once we get that going, we'll get a um, neutron collider going, uh, maybe a spaceport. Actually, we'll get the holodeck simulator, spaceport, and then we might start terraforming. I mean, we don't have to terraform for a while, but we're not really growing a whole lot of food right now. And I think we got all of our food stuff already produced, except for subterranean farms. But that's still going to take quite some time, so I'd rather terraform. Because terraforming is actually going to be cheaper than building the farm system. Alright, Marine Barracks complete at Lost Souls 2. Now building Holodeck Simulator. Cool. You guys continue focusing on getting your stuff built. Um, actually, no. Until we get this built, we need to focus on production. Yeah, that'll be fine. Global DNA scanner complete at Great Wasteland Prime. You're now actually not building anything. Okay. Good to know. Uh, we have a lot of people researching, so let's get an advanced data center going. And we're actually a little bit low on, um, on income. So let's get the population growing quicker. Alrighty, and fleet up to here, guard that area, and let's engage the next uh, military outpost, get that taken care of. Show them the wrath of the Sabani Empire with our gigantic titan. 
in decent fleet. We're 29 ships. Nice. All right. Uh, we could just bring our Titan in, or we we could bring in an actual fleet. Probably wouldn't be too bad. Let's just move them up to here. And the secondary fleet, we'll move them up to here. You guys just follow behind. Ow! Hurt my destroyer. So many missiles. Shields down. It's taking some major damage and it is destroyed. Nice. Military outpost destroyed. And we haven't really taken any damage. Our cruisers and whatnot are still healing from a couple turns ago. All right. Let's end our turn. Alrighty. Angel Moon 2 has grown. Awesome. Um, we'll keep you focusing completely on building up your food because you still have four population you need to build. Now you have a lot of um, food available, so let's do soil enrichment facility. Um, Advanced data center. Uh, how are we doing pollution wise? We're doing pretty good. Might get an atmospheric renewer going. I mean, we have the, the income to handle it, so yeah, let's go ahead and get that going. Frigate completed at Higara, which is now building another frigate. Fantastic. Come up here. Neutron Collider completed at Angel Moon 2. Now building a global DNA scanner. Awesome. Uh, same thing with you. We're just going to focus completely on food to get your population growing pretty rapidly. Uh, Biosphere completed at Tan Tanis 4. Now building fungal farms. Cool. Uh, build a hydroponic farm first because you'll get two food instead of one. And Neutron Collider completed at Gly 3. Cool. What do I want you to build now? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get Advanced Data Center going. Um, got plenty of population room. Uh, we got a decent amount of production we can make. So I could build Robo Miners. Hmm. Yeah, let's get a robo miner going. And how are we doing pollution wise? Not too bad. I'd probably feel better if we had an atmospheric renewer and then build me a battle station. Alrighty. Let's move in. Move in to engage the last of the null fleet. What do we have? We have a star base level 20, um, missile base level 13, orbital batteries like level 16, or version 16 I should say. One cruiser, two destroyers, two frigates, two colony ships, a space factory, and a scout. Let's do this. Let's wipe out this simple fleet. Battle and Null Prime. Oh, that's an interesting looking ship. We just have one long fleet. Hey, so you boys head up in that direction. You boys head up in that direction. And capital ships, just make your way. You boys, I'm actually going to slow you down.
Go, go, go. Engage those. Engage those. Boys, come over here and engage this. Titan, doing just fine. Boom, boom, boom. All right, you boys, come over here, engage those. Nice, nice. Titan, keep moving in. We've destroyed a couple of the enemy leaders. Okay, okay. And you boys just start moving in that direction. Oh, so those guys attempted to retreat. Don't know where they're going to retreat to. Yeah, but we took about 7% damage. We lost one destroyer. That's all good. We almost lost a frigate. But everything else just took a little bit amount of damage. All right, let's start bombing the crap out of this planet. Got planetary shield up. This might take a while. Shields down. I think we did a little bit of damage to the tanks, and that's about it. Killed two population. <laughs> All right, you guys, I want you to come up here and just wipe those guys out. Here we go. Cool. Let's end our turn. All right, Higara 2 has grown. We're now up to 16 population. Nice. Um, focus a little bit more on production, but now let's focus on continuing to get our research up because we're still growing at a pretty rapid pace. Great Wasteland 2 has grown as well. We're up to 14, which is nice. Still growing rapidly. And I don't think I can bring you down here. No. We go positive on pollution. So we think we might get Recyclotron built first on that planet. Uh, Great Wasteland 5 has grown as well. Nice. You're growing very rapidly, which is nice. Uh, we also need to get you your Recyclotron on. So build that next. And Tannis 2 has grown as well. Nice. Okay. So let's do this until we get the soil enrichment facility on. Then we can start building up here. Start focusing on growing the population. And then Terraform you complete on Goliath 2, which is now building their Neutron Collider. So Goliath 2 is now a Terran planet. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, put you up here. Maybe bring you down here. Although, I'd rather have this on research. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it like that. That'll be fine. Battleship completed at Karak Prime. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Karak Prime, I want you to build yourself a university. I would greatly appreciate that. And see what we want to do after that. Now I want, once we get the, uh, um, once we get tectonic engineering, I'm going to move that character down um, to this area and then probably move this one up like over here. Oh, Tannis already has a, a government. Um, maybe we'll move them up here just for now. 
so that we, they, these guys could take advantage of that 50% bonus uh, production from that leader. Since they're all production focused planets. Okay. Let's start bombing. Ajeel Prime again. Okay, okay, we destroyed all the tanks, killed a couple more marines, wiped out some more population. Not bad, not bad. Oh, this planet is under a population boom event. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Alright, Space Factory has completed its, um, um, Building the mine on the gas giant. Nice. So let's move you here. Extract a advanced outpost. It's gonna take 15 turns. Interesting. And same thing with this one. Crap. You're going to take 30 turns. Oh, you're still like, you're still the original builder. All right. So you're going to take a lot longer. Makes sense. All right, you come up here. Join that group. And Mr. Battleship wants you to come up here as well. Alrighty. Great Wasteland Prime has grown again. You're now a size 11. Cool. I want you to focus on keep on building up your um your food. Actually, you're being you're like importing, exporting throughout the entire sector. Um Let's see, what else do I want you to build? Um let's go ahead and build your, your holodeck simulator and your marine barracks since I'm gonna be moving that stuff around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do something like that. So who's producing the most food in the Great, great Wasteland area? Um, I think you are. You're exporting five. Um, you're importing one. Uh, you're importing six. And you're exporting two. Okay. So Great Wasteland 3 has grown as well. You're now a size 10. Awesome. Uh, you need to focus a little bit more on research because I don't have the pollution yet. The thing for the pollution. Fly 3 has grown. Nice. You're focusing completely on getting your production level going or your, your population growth going. A global DNA scanner is completed at Great Wasteland 5. Now building the Recyclotron. Nice. Uh, soil enrichment facility completed at Lost Souls 2. Nice. Now you're starting to grow slightly. You still have a lot, um, lot in cube for you to do. Uh, Starbase is completed at Lost Soul Prime. Now building a global um, DNA scanner. Awesome. Awesome. Keep you growing on food so we can get your credits up a little higher. And then Advanced Data Center completed at Great Wasteland Prime. Currently, yeah, building the Marine Barracks and the Holodeck Simulator. Cool. Almost in the positives on um on your credits, which is nice. All right. Let's do more damage to uh the Null Prime. 
Let's see if we can slowly wipe it out. There we go. Destroyed more structures. There's three population left. Still has their shields up. Um, you, I'm gonna move you here. I'm gonna have you construct me a jump gate. Because we definitely have the income to get more of these going. Oh, hey, Interian portal. Your time is at an end. Soon. The galaxy will belong to the old race once again. Okay, okay. Um, how big of a fleet are they bringing? That's, um... That's a fleet! That is a fleet. We have 9, 10, 11, 12 destroyers, 6 frigates, one, two, three, four, five, six cruisers and six battleships. Yeah, I think I'll let him just destroy this planet. I mean, I could bring my fleet in, but the problem is um, they're going to be attacking in two turns. and It'll take three turns to get there. So. Interessant. Very, very interessant. And plus, I don't want to lose my entire fleet to the Antarians, because then the, the Baratheons will start attacking. They'll realize that I no longer have defenses to fight them. So, anyways, um, and Angel Moon Prime has grown. It has 12 population now. Cool. Uh, let's let it keep growing at a fast rate. Keep this income coming up. Uh, goes in 4 Prime has grown. Nice, nice. Uh, we'll have you start focusing more on production. Sujuk 3 has grown as well. You guys are doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, Marine Barracks completed Great Wasteland Prime. Now building Hollow Deck Simulator. Cool. Cool. Good to know. Uh, Battle Station completed at Sarum Prime. Um, now uh, terraforming to the next tier, to a tier 3 planet. Cool. Starbase completed at Great Wasteland 3, terraforming next in queue. Sweet, terraforming to a tier 3 planet. Um, Holodeck Simulator completed at Tenheiser Gate, now building a Starbase. Nice, you're also bringing, producing a lot of pollution. So I need to start converting you over to research. We probably need to start building, yeah, Recyclotron and Pollution uh, Processor. Get some of these going. You still growing? No, you're even now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Being, it'll be done in four turns. Honestly, just get that. <laughs> Not that big of a deal. But anyways, uh, we also already have a colony ship here, so we can just recolonize this if we need to. If they actually wipe it out. A soil enrichment facility completed at Tannis 2. Now building government support facility. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, Biosphere completed at Adex Prime. Um, now building the hydroponics farm. Awesome. Get you growing a little bit better. And Frigate completed at Higara. <laughs> now he's not actually doing anything. Nice. Let's see, how big is our fleet now? We have 23 frigates, 16 destroyers, 10 cruisers, 3 battleships, and a Titan. We're going to need another battleship, I think. Yeah. 
That'll be what you can build. And then uh, tectonic engineering research completed. Uh, we need core waste dump. As much as I want deep core mine. We need us for the pollution cleanup. Hey, fantastic. So the core waste dump takes put, takes put, uh, population made toxins and pollutants and enter, enters them at a uh, at the fringe of the planet's molten core, where they are destroyed by the intense pressure and temperature. Structure significantly reduces pollution on the planet, up to 150. Fantastic. Next, we need super... Uh, actually, we're going to do hyper dimension uh, fission because we only have a couple more turns, so that one's done. And then this one. For the glory of the fiefdoms. Okay. And now I want to do a little bit of diplomacy with the with these guys hello outside hello um i yes. would like you to give me oh i don't think he has it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> he has class five shields interesting Walk with the wild spirits. Can do. So I need. Deep core mine. This is what I need. I don't think the Cylons are going to have this. Double check. Welcome back, stranger. How? I listen intently. Uh, deep sea cooling. I don't think they'll give it to us. A deep scanner and deep sea cooling. I don't know what deep sea cooling does. Farewell, stranger. Okay, and if there... Oh, we actually haven't met that last one yet, so we're never actually gonna know. Okay. Let's see where we are on research. Officer on deck. That's not what I wanted to do. I meant to go here. Uh, we are two technologies above the Barathe. Nice. Okay. Um, well, now we need to go to our leaders, and I need to take um, you, and we need to assign you to a different system. But I think I'm going to assign it to that one there. Hmm. Hmm. 8x. Send you over there, and then you send you down. Uh, do 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 to the Great Wastelands. Okay, and four turns um, that will be applied. So now let me make sure that the Great Wastelands morale is doing okay. Oh. Yeah. This is going to be fun. Uh, stop the terraforming. Get all these done first. <laughs> um, and you. Same thing. Boop. That done. Mm, and you almost have all yours done. Okay. Then we have the core waste dump. Yee.
All right. Uh, did you get done what I wanted you to get done? Or were you just moving? You were just moving. Okay. Still need to get that done. It's going to take a while before those get done because they're very, very big. Boopity boo boo. Let's wipe out the rest of this planet. It should mostly. It might take one more round to beat this. Yep, one more round. Four structures, one population left. One of them is still the planetary shield. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, Mr. Frigate, you to make your way up here. Send our turn. All right, let's see how badly like the riots and whatnot are going on down here. This guy has two people not working. You got one person not working. Um, one person not working there. Not as bad as I was expecting, honestly. I will admit. I was expecting that to be a lot worse. All right, Gly Prime has grown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Just focus on building you up more. Um, we don't really need anything from this planet. I mean, we could start constructing things, but it doesn't actually have a whole lot of production. This would be good for like a frigate producing uh, planet that cruisers and above are going to take way too long. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to have you keep um, improving the economy. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we're at plus 16. That's, that's plenty actually. Yeah, we'll just keep this the way it is. And Sarm Prime has grown as well. Nice. You are terraforming at the moment. Have you grow a little bit quicker? We have a lot of income at the moment, which is really nice. Uh, Lost Soul Prime has grown as well. Nice. Love to see it. Um... After you get that built, get your Recyclotron going, your Battle Station, um, and then maybe your Astro University. Yeah. You actually are not growing all that fast. Hmm. This might need subterranean farms. Maybe we'll build subterranean farms, like last. Okay, and government support facility completed at Great Wasteland. Building a marine barracks now to get all this under control. Cool. Uh, Recyclotron completed at Tenheiser Gate Prime. Now building the pollution processor. Sweet. Get that under control. You still need to grow pretty rapidly because... Uh, um, you're still negative on credits. I get that um, under control. Uh, and then a Gaia transformation um, completed at Sajuk Prime. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Get you to focus a little bit more on getting food production going. And then we might get you some robo miners, some soil enrichment facilities. Uh, let's see, you are abundant small. Um, you are going to need a pollution processor, though. don't think you're going to need a core waste dump facility, but a little bit of processing would probably go a long way on this planet. All right. We'll figure out what else we want to do. And that's about it. How are you doing? Importing 2.6 food. Uh, you are exporting 5.6 because you are making a lot of food. And you are importing 3. 
Not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. You're growing at 10. You're growing at 6. You're growing at 10 as well. Okay. Could move you down here. Grow us a little bit quicker. Yeah, because that would be 12, 7, and then 11. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. You boys. Um, Move you up here. And do we actually have like actual defenses on this planet? I don't think I have. I think the Antarians always fight um, the least defended planet. Yeah, because we don't even have a star base here. So they'll probably either they'll probably end up either wiping it out or just doing something with it. Speaking of wiping out. This should be it for this planet. Hey! Golems have been defeated. He's a little disappointed, which I don't blame him. Hey, Dom League has been eliminated by the Elyrian um, fiefdoms. Nice. All right, so you guys need to just protect this area. Oh, wait. Um, we also need to protect this uh, asteroid area until we get that under our control. And yeah, let's see. Let's see the Antarian's fleet. Why? Oh, indeed. 36 biological weapons. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice. I love the fact that they can't actually destroy the planet because they use biological bombs instead of nuclear bombs. Behold, the finest of young races, ground to dust by a simple raiding party. How pathetic. Well, you should attack one of my bigger planets, and then you might have an actual, um, actual thing going on. This is GNN, Galactic News Network. The Antaran raiding parties have once again delivered a crippling blow to the Valerian Dominion as they continue to mercilessly ravage our galaxy. You stay classy, Antares! <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine. And then I think... Um, like I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I just need to grab a, um, forget what they're called. I'll probably take it from this guy. We need a transport. We don't have enough money to actually execute this. Okay, it'll be a couple turns. All right, well, the Antarians have um, wiped out the population on that planet. It's all good. Um, we'll just put the population back on it. <laughs> the Karak Prime has grown. This is a size 14 now. Awesome. Um, oh yeah, and you don't have to worry too much about getting the uh, the thing on you anymore since you don't have the, the gigantic uh, population boost or production boost. So we don't have to have the core waste dump here anymore. Uh, let's see, how are we growing? We are actually growing pretty decently. So there we go. We could build a subterranean farm. This will help with food growth. Yeah, we might as well, since we have a high population cap now. And we can actually afford it. Um, so there we go. Orc Prime has grown. Nice. You're growing at a pretty rapid rate, so it'll keep you the way you are. Continue working on getting more research going. 
It also gets an Astro University going because we are producing a lot of credits on this planet. Uh, Tenheiser Gate has grown as well. Nice, nice. Credits are still a little bit on the low side. Um, I might get a subterranean farm going here shortly. Once we get the pollution thing under control. Mm. Um, Angel Moon 3 has grown as well. Nice, nice. Still working on getting those gravity generators built for this planet. We've been going for a very long time. Neutron Collider for more production. Holodeck Simulator for morale. Um, spaceport for... Well, credits we don't really need anymore. Since we can grow our population pretty rapidly. Alright, Marine Barracks completed on Great Wasteland 3. Now building Holodeck Simulator. Nice, nice. Getting more of the morale back up. Uh, Global DNA Scanner completed at Lost Souls Prime. Now building Advanced Data Center. Yee. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Uh, okay, hydroponic farm completed at Tannis Prime now. Sweet. Now building a soil enrichment facility. Mm -hmm. um, let's focus on population growth. Although... Hmm. Um... Yeah, we'll focus on that one more. An Astro University completed on Karak Prime. So yay, more research. More research. Okay. And then you make your way up here. Um, yeah, you blockade that planet blockade that so pirates don't spawn on that and then let's see is all of our guys actually currently busy they are one's building a jump gate and a couple are building um uh, main defenses so it's going to be a while before we actually get up here okay and let's do one more turn all righty Great Wasteland 5 has grown. We have a lot of credits coming in on this planet. You guys also need to get your um, marine barracks under your control. <laughs> uh, can I get that done in one turn? Nope. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, Recyclotron completed at Great Wasteland 2, building marine barracks. I think that's the one I was just... Nope, never mind. That's a different one. So, hey, plenty of pollution or uh, pollution resistance. So, we can go ahead and start doing this to try to get this done a little bit faster. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, we're exporting a lot of food. All right. Keep that the way it is. Government support facility completed at Great Wasteland um, 5. Now I'm building Recyclotron. Nice. Which I've actually moved on uh, Marine Barracks in front. Then you need to get your Holodeck Simulator built after that. Then you can get the Recyclotron built. Uh, marine Barracks completed at Lost Soul 3. Now building Holodeck Simulator. Okay, okay. Just to get all those knocked out. You need a terraform before you get your spaceport built. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to get food done. Uh, battle station completed on Angel Moon Prime. Awesome. Awesome. Now you're not actually doing anything. You're just growing very rapidly. Might be useful enough to make a space elevator. Hmm. 
you are a medium and we are going to be having really really high population so yeah let's get a space elevator going maybe subterranean farms although you don't really need it not really required um we'll transform you into a Gaia planet after that one all right and destroyer has been completed at Gozen Prime nice he's currently not actually building anything so what's that put our fleet up to 23 frigates 17 destroyers 10 cruisers three battleships and a titan might start building more frigates, honestly. Another planetary bombardment. Yeah, I'll do something like that. And hyperdimensional research has been completed. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, so we can get a hyperdrive, which creates um, which gives us more travel speed and more combat speed, um, bonus speed and combat. Um, we can get a plasma beam, which fires a tremendous stream of plasma energy. While not as overly sophisticated weapon, it is still terrifyingly effective. Or we can get HyperX capacitors, which uh, are used to replace most of the common circuity, circuitry of standard issue energy weapons, allowing to strip down the, mo the modules and reducing the space required to equip those modules. This will allow us to put more beam weapons on. Hmm. Don't really need faster speed, because we're going up with a very defensive playthrough. Very shield heavy playthrough. Could go plasma beams. Actually, let's just go hyper X capacitors. I just want to fill my ships with like 50 million phasers. The philosophers have gleaned a new insight. So energy weapons have been reduced and beam size have been reduced as well. Nice. Okay. Let's update our ships. Of hyper X capacitors. <laughs> so can we get more phasers? Ooh. Three more phasers and a couple more defensive phasers. Nice. Nice, our frigates are actually kind of uh useful now. Okay, destroyer, same thing. Let's put HyperX capacitors on. Um, and now we can get a couple more defensive phasers. I think that's about it for the destroyers. I think we can get just two more. Yeah. Get more defenses going on. Okay, planetary bombardment. I don't think you actually use any um um yeah, you actually don't use any energy weapons, so it doesn't actually affect you. Okay, cruisers. Hmm. Bring us down to two eighty four. We can have like a slight bound more, like maybe. Like one more defensive uh, phaser. <laughs> carrier. Um, carrier might not be worth it on this guy. Let's see, 294. Yeah, 290. It's actually not worth it. Okay. Uh, a battleship, um, which has uh, quite a bit amount of phasers, will definitely be worth it. Uh, so this will be 630. Let's push this down to 542. Holy crap. All right. Let's give more damage. Um, more defenses. And maybe... Woohoo! We can almost make it. And more carrier defenses. So yeah, Battleship got a nice update. Now the Titan. 
Um. Ooh, we could put a warp disperser on our Titan. Nice. So when our Titan's in the field, they can't hyper jump away from us. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Twenty-four. Twelve. Eleven. And twenty-nine. Twenty-nine point defense phasers. 24 broadside freight phasers, 11 frontal um, ion beams, and 12 uh, frontal gravity beams. Our Titan's deadly. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Our Titan is freaking deadly. We have 605 attack and 1660 defense. Hmm. <laughs> Cruisers really aren't that powerful. Kind of want to make phasers a little bit more powerful. Although the way the way I have these guys set, um, phasers are broadside weapons. Okay. Pretty damage. Oh, yeah, we to weaken these. So four phasers, and one missile. This is up to twenty-seven. That's two more. Two more than what they're currently at. Hmm. See, a destroyer has a few missiles and a few phasers. What do I want my cruiser to be? My cruiser is basically a bigger version of um of destroyers. I can give it an ion pulse beam. Or maybe we can make the phasers like act a little bit different. Could make him a heavy mount. There we go. A little bit more damage. How much space do you take? Nine. Hmm. I don't think we really need most of this. I don't even use this ability. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we'll add a couple more missiles back in. Hmm. How close are we? You're actually pretty close. Let's do that. Five point defense phasers, three missiles, four heavy phasers. We got reinforced hull, multi phase shields, hyper X capacitors, and EMC jammers. Also, the EMC jammer, let's get rid of us. And then we'll add more point defense phasers in. And maybe another rocket and more uh, main phasers. There we go. So 12 point defense phasers, four um, rockets, and five heavy phasers. It will be attacked on broadside. Okay, I think I like this. 
We have 50% more armor, 30% more shields, and 50% reduction in energy weapon size. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Because now my cruiser has a lot more damage than my destroyers and my frigates. Let's edit this real quick. I don't want this ability. I don't even use it. And we'll just give you just more phasers. Uh, do, do, do. Point defense phasers, maybe? Three point defense. Let's see, these are destroyers. So we probably don't need a whole lot of point defenses. Maybe just one missile or phasers. Although, I do want the destroyers to be like missile focused. Give them auto continuous firing. So they're armor piercing. Um, let's do that. Just you down to one. Because I want destroyers to be aggressive. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah, now they all kind of look like they're different. So destroyers have a little bit less survivability than frigates because they're more aggressive. Um, cruisers have a lot more survivability because they're much larger. Um, uh, but they're not near as powerful as a battleship, and a battleship's not near as powerful as a titan. Yeah, I like that. I think I like that. But anyways, oh yeah, um, our next research is going to be super scalar construction, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, this will also allow us to upgrade our battle stations to a star fortress, which is the largest defensive structure we can make. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then... Yeah, then we need that, and then interface, interface fission, and then planetoid construction. We'll be able to build our Doom Star. But anyways, guys, um... Ooh. Yes, please. Anyways, I'm going to end this here. Uh, I went a little bit over this week or uh, this day, I uh, apologize about that, but I wanted to make sure that I have my ships like organized the way they're supposed to since we are starting to get to a late game. Um, we need them to do the stuff that we need them to do. So anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and I will check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Soban signing out. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. <laughs>